Welcome beautiful Cancerian friends to your Life Path and Abundance reading for the month of May. We see that Spirit is bringing us the message that at this time you can afford to be generous with the gift of your time and attention. We also see that a creative flash of inspiration will come to you quickly and give you a perfect solution to a problem that you have been pondering recently. When we look at the overall energy of the reading, it's powerful, it's beautiful. It really looks as though for many of you, Cancer, you've been through a tough time in the recent past. There's a lot of strength and beauty in your relationship. There's a lot of beautiful, beautiful, abundant love coming in. You've had a lot of love because you're a Cancer. You are exuding love, as we all know. But there are spe special messages for you here this month, unlike any other that I've seen. When we look at Laura Lee, we are looking at someone or a being, a creature, a fish, but she's very, she's very either Piscean, she is Cancerian, but she is watery energy. This is you, Cancer. It shows that even though you've been through the mill, you've been hurt, you have the power and the capacity to really wreak havoc if you would choose to do so with the lives of the people that hurt you and then sailed away. And it looks as though you're going to remain calm. You're very aware of the power that you have within you, but also look at, she's a beautiful spirit, a beautiful soul. And what we see you doing this month is really stepping into an abundant period of time in which you enjoy, you know, you take time to smell the roses, so to speak. The red garden card is about the enjoyment of living in the moment. We also see that you want sunny days ahead. You may have someone around you. It could be a brother, a lover, a husband, or a child even, a cousin, a friend, who is the Prince of Light. And this Prince is coming in to really help you deal with something that was very stinging, something that really, really um, was difficult for you. And we're seeing that, you know, you need to let the sun shine in and hummingbird spirit is, you know, be there and here now. We see you in this beautiful energy of discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. This truth, though, does have a bit of a, a sting to it as we're going to go over when we look at the main cards. But your Prince of Light, that can be your inner light also, is really helping you pick your way through this period of time in your life. When you're getting back to normal, you're coming into alignment with your abundance. Once again, Cancer, we look at your physical well-being. I don't think you've ever looked more beautiful. You are, you know, very abundant. The Empress is always abundant. You are embodying the sign of Venus. We see that this is a prime time in your life if you don't have a partner to attract an incredibly good partner. The Empress is Taurus energy. It is everything that we value. So somebody has, and I also think that there is somebody who's watching you, and I feel as though the, that person may be the Prince of Light, waiting to make a move, waiting to come towards you. When we look at your house of physicality, you look beautiful, as I said. And in partnership, the Four of Fire, for those of you who are not married, this energy says that on your life path, you will soon meet, probably within the next four months, your life partner, someone with whom you could marry if you choose to marry. In your money house and in your money area of your life, we see this strength card. We see that you've had trials and tribulations with money, but we also see that you've remained very strong in your ability to manage your money well. For those of you who have had losses in this area, we see that a partner or partner's money or the resources of another person that loves you have really come to help you. When we look at the third house of your everyday life, you are really yearning for something beyond yourself. You're tired of being here on the shore. You'd really like to set sail for new adventures. 
you're very much invested in your current life and it shows that you're doing very well with that. But when we look at your fourth house, when we look at your, your home as you know it, it looks as though you spend too much time alone or you have some worries about home, even though we have in the 10th house, a big advancement in career. So if you are looking for a major promotion, a major new opportunity, it looks, it's, it looks as though something that you thought you didn't get to have, something that you lost, now comes to fruition. So this energy is all about being elevated in life. It is about getting your emperor it could be that if you are looking or hoping to find love, you could meet your divine partner in the arena of your career or public standing. But you are riding the wave right now, Cancer. This energy is all about you taking the mantle of authority. It's you expanding to the highest levels of your career in the near future, if it hasn't happened already. It speaks to the abundance, the combination of yin and yang energy serving you beautifully. Whatever it is that you have, whatever it is in terms of your home life, perhaps family, perhaps a place that you live, you do have some remorse and regret about some choices that you've made. But what we're seeing here is that you will be able to let go of the burden. We see you able to walk away at this point in time. For many of you, you may have to move, you may feel forced to move, and you may not want to do that physically, but it says that you are moving towards something that you invested in. This is really part of the process for you um, man managing and maintaining and expanding your abundance. We see the messenger of water in your sixth house of your health, your well-being. What we see is that you're very much in touch with your emotions. The work that you may do may be, for some of you, very nurturing or healing work of some sort. I feel as though for whom I'm reading that some of you might be Reiki masters, you might be therapists, you might be hypnotists, you might be you know, uh, supportive nursing, like for moms or mothers. I'm also getting this energy for you that in your friends, you have dear friends. They're there for you night and day. There are many people, Cancer, that you could call in the middle of the night if you needed to. We also see this beautiful energy of the Queen of Earth. It says that behind closed doors, you are rock solid. This is Capricorn energy. You're really able to keep your head on straight about the trials and tribulations that you've been experiencing. But I get that you're walking to a greater level of happiness, even though for some of you it may mean leaving a home that you love or a city or a place that you love. But this beautiful ship is sailing into the sunrise or the sunset, let it be as whatever it is for you. We see you with this energy of being very invested possibly in higher education. The seven of earth, the seven of pentacles in your ninth house means that you could be invested in studying philosophy. You could be going back to school. You could also be investing possibly in overseas properties, but it really speaks to the fact that you are in your element in terms of doing and following and earning the accolades, the if you're going to any kind of school, whether it be nursing, finance, a higher level degree, you are well on your way. You will have a great deal of success. It's This is a wonderful investment for you. Now, I always do two readings. These readings are for questions like, what does my boss think of me? What does my neighbor think of me? What does my best friend think of me? Uh, and then I do a thornier reading, which is an area of your life in which you may have worry what that relationship would be. So I'm gonna treat it like it's a personal reading, apply it or let it resonate as it will for your life at this time. So in this energy, we get the beautiful, fiery queen of wands. You are in a very positive, prosperous, 
abundant time in your life, you're starting something. Here we have the Empress again. So whatever it is that you do from a creative standpoint in business, you are creating tremendous abundance. Again, we have this fiery queen here who's becoming an empress. And look at this. We have the two of cups. We have the two of cups right here. That's a partnership. So it really speaks to the fact that for those who are not currently in a partnership, you soon will be in a partnership and it shows that we have the seven of wands there will be many people pursuing you cancer and you will not want the attention of all of them but you are spirit guided at this time you have gone through what looks like a breakup you've gone through a transformative period you've earned your wings so to speak and what we have here is a death card rewarding you for all of your hard work as you go forward and become your empress self again. It shows that you have the power that if you are looking at a lover, will they want a committed relationship? The answer is yes. If you've just met somebody and you want to know if it has a future, the answer is yes. Wherever there was lack, there is now abundance. That is the nature of the death card to let something die off. And this is what happens here. I do feel like most of you are moving out of an area or a home life in which you've really, really had a great number of friends and loved ones near you. It is a new adventure. It is expansion. It will pay off beautifully. You will be very happy that you did it. And I just love the energy of, you know, standing in your light and truth. It's really time to go forward. When we look at the thornier issue here, we have the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Wands here. So what we're seeing is if you were married or if you are married, we're looking at this Ten of Pentacles, an abundant relationship in which there's a beautiful home, a beautiful life, and again, it's the sacred heart. It's a very deep love relationship. With the Four of Wands, we get, yes, you will marry again. If you're wondering that, if you will ever get to find love, the answer is absolutely yes. We have new love coming in or the beginning of new love. If you're already in a partnership, a whole rebirthing process, a time of absolute romance and depth and love. You have made a decision to have more freedom in relationship than you have in the past. It looks as though someone took something from you. It was a very difficult relationship. So for many of you, somebody that you loved or that was close to you took advantage of you. You are at peace with it. If this was a love relationship, you are at peace with the issue. What we're seeing here is that you still care about that person but we also see that you have past judgment. You will release them if they are unhealthy. So for those of you who are dealing with the Seven of Swords, somebody that hurt you, you will release them. You will love them at a distance. They will always be a part of your history. You will make peace with that. But the Knight of Wands energy also says that you're open to moving forward. You're open to moving onwards and upwards. When we look at this beautiful Knight of Wands energy, I thought it was Knight of Cups, sorry. Knight of Wands energy, we see two little birds here. You really do meet your partner with whom you can have a lot of freedom, a lot of love, somebody that you really cherish, somebody that will be there for you and give you a very, very powerful foundation. Nobody loves the way a Cancerian loves. You are about to find that you have your love reciprocated by someone who is absolutely worthy of your time and of your energy. Cancer, namaste.